president, uh, president I should say, uh, former Senator uh, Norm Coleman among them in the fine state of Minnesota. Uh, he went uh, from Jeb Bush to Marco Rubio. Uh, he joins us right now. Senator, good to have you. Great to be with you, Neil. Thank you. Why Senator Rubio, sir? Uh, because any vote against Marco Rubio is a vote for uh, Donald Trump, and that would be a terrible thing for the Republican Party. And Help me for the country. Uh, Trump's the only guy that's got uh, high negatives in Hillary Clinton. Marco Rubio is the one guy who can pull this party together. Uh, he's got the Tea Party element. He ran that originally. He's got the folks who supported Jeb Bush. It's, you know, maybe the establishment folks. There aren't many of us left, Neil. But it's folks who really care about American security. He's got the plan to, to do that, uh, who has a bright, optimistic vision for the future. So it's a very easy transition for me and many others to move from Jeb to Marco Rubio. But again, it's not because Marco is the establishment candidate. It's because he's the one guy that can pull all elements of this party together. Or so you hope. The fear might be, right, sir, if you think about it, that Donald Trump will seize on that. And all the dinosaurs of the party are backing this Rubio. Uh, I'm the renegade who, fear, who they fear. You say what? Yeah, and, he, and, he, and he will. And listen to that. That message plays to a segment of the party. You know, at this point, but maybe Neil, it's you know, more he's than a, a segment of the party, right? I mean, his argument What's has it? been, Senator, that he is reaching out to more than just the Republican base, and he's bringing far more into that Republican tent. What do you say? Yeah, but Neil, you know, Donald likes to, uh, you know, tout the, the polls. The polls show that I said he's got 59 percent negatives, more than Hillary Clinton. The polls show that he doesn't have 50 percent of the Republican Party. Is was it 32, 35, 38, 40? So, so you've got uh, you know, folks who are really passionate, really passionate about Donald, and I respect that. There's a lot of anger out there, and, and really? Donald's a good job you know, reflecting that. But uh, to win, you've got you to respond to more than just the anger, and, and Rubio is the one guy that has the opportunity to pull the broad elements of this party together. Uh, do you uh, subscribe to the view that, that if Donald Trump were the nominee, he'd have a tough time uh, bringing party uh, loyalists like yourself with him? I mean, would you back him? in that event if he were your party's nominee? Well, listen, I don't expect him to be the nominee of the party. I'm going to back the Republican nominee. There's no question about that. All right, so even but if the, in the, the unlikely the, event in your eyes it's Donald Trump, you'll support it? Absolutely. But okay. the fear is that the fear is, is that he's the one guy who can lose to Hillary. He can lose to Hillary. Ted, Ted Cruz is, is, you know, played to a narrow base of the party. He hasn't done a good job of capturing that. The trust head element hasn't been working very well with things like uh, uh, photoshopping images or, or false stories about Marco Rubio and things he said about the Bible. So you got one guy that, that can win this race, a three-person race. That's what it is. And, and so it's not about, you know, if, if Donald's a nominee, do you support him? It's we don't want to lose this election. We, we can't have four more years of an Obama-Clinton agenda. That would be destructive for this country. All right, we'll see what happens. Senator, thank you very, very much. My pleasure. No, thank, thank you.